Hi, Linda. With um, so much capital going into uh, private credit, private markets, uh, for so many years of years of low rates, it was really quite the recipient of so much inflows. Um, now that the world has shifted a bit to higher rates, uh, and we saw what you know the effect happened uh, back in March, how it uh, was a bit challenging for uh, regional banks and lending. What makes you excited now in terms of uh, private markets and private credit? Thank you. Um, well, the higher rates still provide really good opportunities for private credit. Um, you know, the banks have retrenched with all the crisis earlier in the year. So we, we are excited about the higher yields generated in private credits, but we're especially excited about asset-backed private credit. So what I mean by asset-backed is we do a lot in real estate loans, whether it's construction financing or bridge financing and infrastructure loans. Um, so in, in, the, in the past 12 months, we've, uh, we've primarily focused on more defensive type of deals on the asset-backed space, less so on the corporate cash flow lending. Uh, we do continue to do corporate cash flow lending, but very senior in the capital structure, very conservative um, leverage levels. Uh, good, uh, good covenants in place and uh, non-cyclical -cycl industries. But on the real estate side, we're focused on multifamily, residential, industrial. And these are not levered. Like what we're doing is actual like construction, like a, a project of uh, 20 townhomes or multifamily. And uh, the, the supply demand dy dynamics are still very attractive, especially in US and, and across the globe, actually. We do a lot in Canada, UK, New Zealand. Um, so with, with all the flight to quality, like these are the, 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 the right places to be. And so there's always demand for homes. And so we're very excited about construction. Um, and we're able to lend at very attractive yields. You know, we can get double digits if you include the upfront fees and et cetera, with conservative loan to value, 65% loan to value. So it's a, it's a great opportunity set for that. What do you think um, in terms of uh, all the REITs that have to be like refied over the next year and stuff, given that like the small regional banks that control so much of the lending market and uh, more than half of commercial real estate, do you think this um, volatility that might be coming is going to, you know, are you excited about that in terms of the opportunity set? Yes, that will definitely provide a lot of opportunities for those that have dry powder to put to work. Um, uh, so there's, uh, there's, there's, you know, liquidity will, will dry up and has dried up. Um, so it, it depends where you are in terms of uh, available capital to deploy. So with every stress, there's great opportunities. You got to pick the right players and you got to be in the, in the right spots.